my name is charlotte if you're new here and welcome to a, another or your first ever video i never know how to start these um so this is gonna be another vlog um it's not gonna be a weekly vlog because it is thursday when i'm starting this this week has been a bit all over the place um i am obviously in photo shoot prep at the moment this is part of the prep diaries and work is really busy so this video is going to be a bit of a vlog but more so of a bit of like an update of how prep is going how all of that is going um and i will try and show you some more of my meals um over the next couple of days so we'll do this more of like a couple of days on my plate maybe rather than a full-blown weekly vlog because it's just not a week anymore um and yeah so the reason that i have been so busy is if you are watching this on sunday the 19th of february when the, the video is going live this will be relevant to you we are running here at team edc a seven day free trial starting tomorrow for you so it will start on monday the 20th sunday the 19th the day you're watching this hopefully is the last day that you can sign up i will pop the link down below um if you are keen what it is is basically you get seven days to try what it's like to be coached so you get to have a training program you're going to have a personalized nutrition your own habits um and everything like that it's a really really exciting opportunity it's obviously available for a limited amount of people a limited amount of time um if you have ever ever thought about coaching with anyone do this free trial because it's going to give you a really solid insight into specifically obviously what team edc is like what we're all about and how coaching is so much more than just a program a lot of the time people think that all coaching is is you get given a program but it is so much more than that we offer so much support i literally talk to my girls most of them every single day um it yeah it is a really special thing so this trial is definitely not to be missed as i said i will pop the link in my bio if you are keen um and yeah obviously this is your last day to sign up for it so do not waste any time um click off this video and sign up to it if you're keen so this is the meal i am currently having post gym i'm not gonna lie it looks like absolute sludge but it is overnight oats so the bottom layer is oats and then you do like a layer on top that is biscoff mixed with yogurt um and then i just put granola on top so it's got some texture and it's not like sludge um but yeah i'm really enjoying having this as a final one and as you can see i'm in a slightly different place i actually moved my desk around the other day wasn't really vibing with where it was before it's in a really dark corner now it's in front of my window which is really nice i get a lot more natural light um but yeah this is what i've been having for my post-workout pre-workout um my calories are still in a good place so i've been having cereal which is really nice um i found it working a lot better than squares bars but i did swap two mini weeds fix this week because i couldn't get shreddies in the supermarket they're not quite as high in carb and i have started to notice a bit of a difference so i need to try and get some shreddies again um yeah but i only like the chocolate ones because otherwise i want to put sugar in them and like i don't know i like Put sugar on my cereal right now obviously um i guess it's no different like me adding it to, like it being in the chocolate ones but anyway um so yeah i just thought i would share um this meal and obviously as i said share some of my meals throughout the next couple of days hello hopefully you can see me okay it is it's still wednesday um i didn't film my lunch i just had a pizza and an apple because my salad has gone bad but i thought what i would do now is just give you a bit of an update about how things are moving um in terms of a photo shoot prep um, and i'm just gonna get ready to do it because i'm trying to be a multitasking queen and i feel like it makes it a bit more visually interesting so in terms of where things are at the moment um so for a bit of context it is i am in my lose fuel phase so that means i am in the the week before i come on two times a month um so for me this is a time where my scale weight does increase um and i normally do find that i am a little bit weaker in the gym which is something that i have definitely noticed this week which has been frustrating um to say the least um my body weight has been fluctuating a lot i was up like one and a half kilos on saturday or sunday i think um and it's come back down and it's still kind of fluctuating all around um 
so that is okay it is just part of the process what we did was because of that we just left everything the same this week um because by the end of last week i was going into that kind of luteal phase so we never really got to see a full i just realized i said it was wednesday it is thursday um we never got to see like a full interpretation of um how my body's fully responding so we have kept things the same again that was the plan the plan was to take it a bit slower um to begin with get my body used to kind of being a bit more consistent again um as i obviously had a little bit of time as i explained last um in the last video i had some time away from kind of properly tracking um so with that kind of inconsistent time um we just want to get my body back used to having like a consistent amount of food and everything like that um so yeah same things again this week but we were happy my measurements hadn't changed but we were happy with how i was looking um and obviously like how progress pictures are looking and that side of things is the more important thing like obviously along the way body weight will move like that is the laws of like thermodynamics and all of that good stuff but obviously the most important thing is how I'm looking and how, if I'm comfortable with how I'm looking, if I'm liking how I'm looking, if I want to do a shoot with how I'm looking. So as long as that is the thing that's changing, that's all good. The photographer is taking pictures of me. He's not taking pictures of the scale. So we don't need to concern ourselves with what the scale weight is too much. It doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, currently just continuing on my current macros um and my current step target still four sessions a week although training as i said earlier hasn't been the best this week um the gym i go to is just really fucking annoying basically no um that's really dramatic but i do find it quite a frustrating place to train um today for example they were randomly like doing work so getting a new piece of equipment which is awesome like love when gyms obviously like invest um in them and like they do get new pieces of equipment it's obviously a really important thing but they had like they closed like the whole gym floor well not the whole gym floor they closed a good half of the gym floor um but not said anything about it anywhere like not put it on instagram not said like on the training like on the app or anything not even put like a sign up um which was really annoying because it was my squat day today um and i was able to do them but it was just there was so much going on that i couldn't focus on them properly um and i was like bouncing off the safeties i was like i'm just gonna get hurt like doing this um because i can't focus on the movement properly squats are as well like the reason that squats are in my program now is to like well we, i wanted to give them a go because like, that's something i have a massive mental block with so when I'm trying to like work on an exercise that I already have a mental block with, um, when it is like that and I can't focus because there's someone really, really close next to me because everyone's being jammed in and there's people walking back and past with deliveries, like it just doesn't work out too well. So that was the issue today. And then on Monday, it was like ridiculously busy. I could barely get on anything. Um, yesterday was actually all right. So that's, that's all right. Um, but yeah, it's been a bit of a iffy week with training um so i've not really done my training program basically i've not really been able to do my training program because i've not been able to get no pieces of equipment um and it's been like there's been cues to basically get on things so that is a little bit annoying um and then on saturday i'm going to excitingly i'm going to be training with a friend so i will be in a different gym um so that is really really fun um and i it's a gym that i might end up training at Again, I used to train there before. I might go back to training there. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Um, because, yeah, I can't tell if... Right, because obviously, like, I'm going to come on period. I get rage. Um, that is kind of my main PMS symptom, um, I would say, is rage. Um, and that is how I am feeling at the moment. So, yeah, it's not super ideal. This week has been, but it is what it is. There's no point dwelling on it one week in the grand scheme of things hasn't been great isn't the end of the world so we are just moving on we know the rest of the week and next week will be better um so yeah but yeah that is kind of the update so the update is there's not really much to update on um i guess that's what i'm saying um 
we're just plodding along it's the the the, le the not an exciting part of a deficit right now where we're not kind of having too many changes we don't really have too much on um and then as i spoke about earlier with the free coaching trial which is so exciting i'm really really buzzing about that but it obviously does mean a little bit more work as well so we have decided to take things a little bit more chilled um over the next few weeks not really amp things up too soon um just to give me a chance to be able to like put my all into work and everything um but yeah definitely an exciting time and i am still really really enjoying the process i'm enjoying working towards something um i'm still feeling that same feeling of just feeling like motivated um and really good i'm enjoying my food um i have been i've not been hungry but like i've been conscious and i think that's the difference it's like being conscious of the fact that you now have less food and especially because i hadn't been tracking as well it's not even a being conscious of like not having food it's being conscious not having as much food it's being more conscious of the fact that i can't just eat whatever i want um which is kind of in turn making me feel hungrier if that makes sense um so yeah it is a a bit of a bit of a weird one um but yeah i'm really really enjoying the process as i've said like a million times um and yeah i'm excited for things to get serious like i'm excited for the difficult part to start i think well we'll see about that but right now i feel excited for like things to get a bit tougher um but yeah i feel like that is pretty much all for my update today um and yeah i will speak to you in a bit so it is around it's just gone half eight um i've just finished making my dinner so i just have a meal prep dinner um i'm not about cooking every day at the minute to be honest it's not a priority to me i'd rather just cook everything on a sunday um and then get like the iceland my protein meals for like friday saturday sunday or friday and saturday so that was where we're at but for this week's meal prep um i just did cottage pie but as you can see by thursday it's looking a bit grim but this is where gravy comes in so gravy is really low in calories um this is just bisto and it's just gonna liven it up um so if you're wanting to do something like a cottage pie or just a meal that can have gravy with it obviously like it's not gonna work chicken rice maybe well you never know but for like a meal that will be really nice with gravy just shove some gravy on it like otherwise this cottage pie would be really dry it's probably starting to get to a point where it like tastes a bit over seasoned um so yeah i just add some gravy to it as i said the gravy is really low in calories so 50 ml is 13 calories and I don't even think I use 50 ml of it, to be honest. Um, I use a really small amount. It's literally just to add a little bit. Well, that's not a small amount, is it? <laughs> but it's just to add a little bit of liquid to it. Um, so, yeah, I thought I would share. Um, and then the macros for this are really good as well. It's like four, 450 calories. Yeah, 450 calories. Um, and I think like 40 grams of protein, something like that. But, yeah, it's just your, your proof. You don't have to live on chicken and rice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this, um, potentially do a little bit more work. My heart's out for the afternoon and basically I am really bad at like having my own structure. Like I'll follow my Google calendar, but my parents have like a really set structure for like meal times and stuff. And that keeps me knowing what time it is. Otherwise I just get sucked into like a work vacuum and that's what happens today where they're not here. Um, uh, yeah, as I said, it's half eight and I'm just eating this. Luckily, I've got 100 calories left after this. It's just like I'll have some chocolate. Um, it's not like I'll have to have another like a meal. Um, so that's OK. Uh, but yeah, um, I probably won't speak to you for the rest of the day. Um, but I will speak to you tomorrow. Friday. Um, it is like four o'clock. I feel like I've been so absent today. It's just been one of those days um super busy at the moment which is obviously fantastic but it just means that i, I don't have a lot of vloggable content content um and yeah i, I just i'm not thinking about vlogging um but i went to i just got back from iceland i went and got some more of the 
my protein meals um because i really really like those um and they're just really handy to have so my meal prep normally runs out on like a thursday evening so it just means that i don't have anything to have for the next few days so i was like i'm just gonna go get some my like my protein meals um i'm really busy with work today like i don't really have to cook a whole meal i need to go for a walk because i've got so many steps today i'm on like 3600 steps um and it's four o'clock so and i also have a lot to do i've not yeah my to-do list is still looking ginormous and i'm like how where has the time gone you know when you look at your to-do list and you're like but i i was at my desk for so much this morning how is how is it not decreased um so yeah busy day today um as i said i need to get some steps in i got my my protein meals that's the, the story i was telling so yeah they're just i just find them so quick and easy like they mean that i can hit my macros but i can do so in a really quick way it's like the same as having meal prep like it's just so much easier um i got the lasagna the beef pasta um the peri chicken and then i realized uh, like when i got home with the peri peri chicken i was like fuck i really didn't like it last time it was too spicy um so that's great um and then what else did i get the chicken tikka because that's a really nice one that's really low in calories um it's like 320 calories but like 35 grams of protein um so that's quite a nice one to have like if i i mean this weekend it doesn't really matter but like if <laughs> if um i need something that's gonna be low calories maybe like i've got plans or something it's quite a nice one to have to keep it really low calorie so you can do a low calorie bre calorie breakfast low calorie calorie that and then if i'm going out in the evening um but yeah so plan for this afternoon is just to crack on with work um i've got a lot that i need to get through um so just carry on bashing through all of that um i'm gonna do a work block now probably until about half four so like a 20 minute work block which isn't really a long time but it's enough to get some bits done um go for a really good walk before it gets too dark to go for a walk um and yeah that is pretty much the plan one thing that i have done today is done a shitload of washing which i'm happy with because I have a lot of clothes, especially a lot of active wear, I'm really, and I only wear active wear, I'm really bad at keeping on top of my washing because, like, I have enough fresh stuff that I can just keep going for, like, a long time, um, which is gross. Um, but I guess I'm still wearing fresh stuff, so it's not, like, awful. But anyway, um, today I was like, fuck, I really need to get this done because I'm, at, like, I'm at the point with my active wear, I'm having to wear stuff that I don't love. Um so yeah that's one thing that's been super productive um cool so i'm gonna stop talking now because as i said i've got a lot to do um and i will catch up with you in a bit i might try and film my session tomorrow because i'm going to a different gym so i'll do some different exercises and stuff i just filmed this whole bit and um i was completely out of the shot so it is saturday um it's saturday evening i trained with my coach bill and my friend tree today i didn't get any footage because i was just in the moment and i just completely forgot to film i brought my tripod with me and everything i just completely forgot about it i got a leg press pb which i'm really really buzzing with um it was only new leg press but i'm still counting it as a pb because i've never touched those numbers on anything um so really really happy with that my quads feel like fucked um, and then I had a really bad caffeine crash because I had a Red Bull as well. And I think like, you know, when your social battery dies, your caffe you get a caffeine crash, your CNS is fried because you've done a really big lift. All of that happened at once. Um, so just worked and done and chilled this afternoon, basically. But now what I'm doing is planning my meals for the week. So I have already planned out my, um, do you know what? Let me see if I can get my fitness pal on here like on my ipad and then i'll be able to show you so okay so i was able to get my fitness pal on my ipad so this is what i have planned so far um but i think i'm gonna have a reduction in calories um so right now i have 850 left but i think my calories are gonna go down i've said to bill my coach i would like them to be decreased on a rest day only because i find it hard to hit my rest day calories so hopefully that will be how it works but obviously i want to plan it around um similarly to how i did this week where i plan it basically so that if my calories get decreased 
it's not the end of the world. So meal one is my pre-workout meal. So I have 60 grams of cocoa pops oh, um, and 100 ml of just cow's milk. Um, so 270 calories coming from that. Um, and then meal two is those overnight oats they've been having. And then I, uh, I got this high protein chocolate crunch thing um, from m and and the macros are so good. 189 calories, 11 grams of protein. So that brings that meal up to 41 grams of protein, which is awesome um, for like what it is. So that is really, really good. And then meal three, I am going to have some kind of flatbread. This will get changed to a different flatbread because I'm going to Aldi um, and Aldi don't have those. And then the same for the chicken, it will get changed. And I think the cheese will get changed as well. So actually, um, I'll change the cheese out now to the Aldi cheese. Um, there we go. Um, and I'll just do 30 grams of that to be fair, because it's a bit higher in calorie than the Eat Lean. Um, the other two, the calories shouldn't be too different. Um, and I obviously will just be mindful of that when I am looking. Um, so I just need to come up with a dinner basically um with that's like 800 calories and i'll probably try and do 50 grams of protein for dinner um and then i will have because i'm going to aldi i'll get one of the chocolate protein mousses so that is what we're aiming for um and obviously i want it to be quite a bit under that so i could at least add some carbs in like some carby fats or some dark chocolatey fats so that is what i need to come up with now um, i'm gonna have a look in the team edc education portal and have a look at some of those recipes um and potentially just get something from there because it's a really really helpful resource um so if you are new here and you're not a client um as part of our coaching we give you um access to our team edc education portal um in this i'll give you a sneak peek so this is just the nutrition section for example so it is absolutely stacked full of content recipe books for example um there's loads of them um so hope you didn't see that so yeah i'm just gonna have a look through and find something i think i want to get a i want to go for a dinner that's got beef in again i think um rather than chicken um, just because beef keeps a bit nicer, I might just do chicken or like chicken sausages or something. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to have a look at now. Um, and then the Alphalete sale is at six. So basically I'm going to do this. Um, probably have not a dinner, but have a snack because it is quite late in the day and my meals have been all over the place today because I was training for so long. Um, and then get something in the Alphalete sale. I want to get some new bits. Um, I want to make use of the sale and buy some things in a size small so that I have clothes that fit when I get in it, like uh, probably like in a month or two time, probably not even that, probably a month or like six weeks time. I like already a lot of my like mediums are getting a bit baggy um, because, and even my smalls, like they got stretched out um, when I was fully, in my gaining phase, like I'm, I'm leaner than peak gaining phase already, um, because I had a leaner starting point, um, so, yeah, I just, I, I basically need to get some, uh, some clothes that will fit me, and I think the best thing to do is get those in the sales, because realistically they're not going to fit me for that long, um, I still want nice things, because I'm hoping they will still fit me when I do my photo shoot, um, so that they, I'm not going to put them on or anything, I don't think, until, my mediums are feeling too big so I don't rip them or stretch them basically um because yeah I don't want to have to keep buying new stuff like throughout this prep um and I think like I will probably stay lean for a bit longer in summer as well um just I prefer being a bit leaner in summer it, it sorts my thighs from rubbing together and all of that discomfort um so yeah um so yeah, after I've done that, I'm going to do food shop and I'm going to try and take you along with me. Um, I've seen people on TikTok like just bring, like use a trolley and they can just film the trolley. So I'm going to try and do that basically. Um, but yeah, that I'm going to go back to picking a meal and then I'll speak to you in a bit. So I actually decided to just use my new slow cooker cookbook that I got and I'm going to make this. It's actually the first recipe in there. So it's 324 calories just for the kind of steak mix. Um, 
and then I'll just use some microwave like egg fried rice or something um, and basically you just put everything in the freezer for like five hours um, which is going to be so much easier um, than having to actually meal prep which means I basically don't have meal prep to do um, which makes life so much easier so yeah that is what I'm going to make um, so I'm just going to write down I'm going to go downstairs actually figure out what I need to get um, and I actually figure out what the macros are going to be on that. I've decided against the Thai basil beef because too many like ingredients is just going to like uh, like I can't be bothered to buy orange juice to use two tablespoons of it and that's it. So we're going to find something else. Going to the distro instead. I still can't find what I want for my meal prep. <laughs> it's so difficult. Um, no reason. Um, but I'm on the Alphalope website. We've only got like less than a minute to go. <gasps> ah! I did it! I got, I think I got everything I wanted. I kind of mind blanked and forgot what I'd been thinking about. Um, so I got the Amplify Leggings. I don't want to, I want to make sure I don't get my details on here accidentally. Um, I got the Amplify Leggings in Autumn. Um, I got the, like, the crop hoodie. Um, I kind of wish I got a different colour actually already. But I actually think that'll be like a quite a nice wearable colour. I think it'll go with a lot of stuff. Um, and then I got the shorts in oak, the bike, I got the short shorts in oak, the bikers in midnight, um, because midnight looks a lot like pure blue, and pure blue is like my favourite colour, um, and then I just made the most of the amplifiers being 30, like the black amplifiers being in stock and being like 30 quid, <laughs> um, so I got like another size of those because my ones are a bit too big, um, so yeah, and I had a... I had a £50 voucher left from Christmas, so thank you so much, Evie, for that. I've been saving it for all the sale. Um, and then I used Amy Rook's discount as well. So I got a really, really good discount. Um, I got, like, £70 off. Um, like, so yeah, I saved a lot of money, which is why I got as much as I did. Um, and as I said, like, this... I don't spend that much money apart from, um, like, active wear. Um, and obviously like that's quite a lot of stuff actually like five things for 130 quid I'm quite happy with and I paid for quick shipping as well um, because I'm going to do a review on the bits that I got um, so actually I got a really good mix of stuff considering I'm going to do a review on it so that is really good um, <laughs> but yeah very very happy um, and I'm going to go I'm going to finish my skier um, and go and go to Audi is a sunday and i'm back at the shops what a nightmare um basically it turns out that i brought the wrong kind of steak um i didn't buy stir fry steak so i've come just to asda to get the last bits for some meal prep but basically i'm really hoping that you can see me and it's not done that weird thing it did at the beginning of last week's video um so yeah, sorry, I completely lost my show. I thought that was weird. Um, but yeah, I basically just come to get some extra food so I can actually have some. I'm going to have a stir fry meal um, because like, I've already got the stir fry veg. I just need something to go with it. So either chicken or like, I don't know, maybe beef mince. I don't really know. I think I'll go for chicken. Um, but yeah, my brain is not working today. I'm so sorry. Um, so yeah. I'm just going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like this video has been really, really all over the place. I'm going to start planning what I want the main feature of these weekly vlogs to be. Um, so there's something 
sort of substance to them but thank you so much if you've made it this far um and yeah i will see you in the next one